Fred and Mel on the edge. So we got Scott in the studio for music therapy. Tell us what music therapy is because we got no clue what's going on right now. Ooh, that's a biggie. I actually filmed a whole documentary on the subject matter. Music therapy based, I mean, you, you've used music as your own therapy through life. That's the low hanging fruit, right? Yeah. You always kind of, whether it's your first breakup or your first triumph, whatever it was, you've got a, you know, something that helped you through something Avril maybe. Avril complicated. Yeah, there why go. do you got to go and make things? He was a skater boy, and she's like, see you later, boy. Fred, I love that you know this. Yes. Of course I know this. <laughs> she got me through many, many hardships when I was 11. That was there you rocking go. socks on her hands all the time, mm -hmm. Avril style. I'm honestly not joking, though. Well, like, no, was, no, that was, that's was what I was going for. That's yeah. what I was going for. Everybody's yeah. got their form of music as a form of therapy, right? So that's a low-hanging fruit for you guys to understand, right? Everybody. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's music used as a form of therapy. So um, it, it may be... And, and, touches all areas of care. I mean, you might be looking at um, an Alzheimer's patient. You might be looking at someone with... Um, Ooh, Alzheimer's, super... like, like the notebook. Yeah. The song's bringing her back. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, there you go, right? This is... And it, I mean, it, you know, when it comes to um, the particular thing that we're, we're focusing on this time, um, we're focusing on Alzheimer's and dementia because it's music memory. And the way music affects... Um, memory is amazing. Like people with dementia or Alzheimer's might forget their wife or child's name, you know, and their wife, they might have been married to their husband for 40 years, but they can still remember a song. The event is um, March 11th at Berkeley Church. We've got Fred Penner uh, headlining and he uh, sort of drives the evening and then we've got a bunch of young artists that he's playing with. And of course, Fred Penner was an obvious choice for us because it ties in that whole music memory. Yes. Right? It's, yes. That was the idea. And then Burning of course, exactly, it's an evening of covers and interactions and collaborations with with young artists like Matthew Barber, uh, Justin Rutledge, Royal Wood, Peter Katz, Emma Lee. Um, so great stuff. And they're all going to do like, they're playing older kind of, like I think Fred Penner and Royal Wood are doing a Cat Stevens tune. I think Matt and, um, and uh, Justin are doing like a Simon and Garfunkel cover. So, and then there's, you know, we'll do Cat, the Cat Came Back at the end of the night, big Absolutely. crescendo. Right. Probably some Neil Young rocking in the free world in there nice. with everybody on stage. And there's a lot of stories that are behind, like a lot of musicians are in there. I know one of the musicians, I won't mention their name, but I know their uh, father has early uh, dementia, form of dementia, mm -hmm. and another has, uh, their, her, his father has um, acute brain injury. Dude, get us the link. We want to help you raise some funds for this. I think it's amazing, uh, and we appreciate you coming in. Awesome. Well, drinkinc.ca is where you go to find out information on the tickets. That's my company, and that's who's putting it on. So Excellent. We'll, we'll, uh, or musictherapytrust.ca. Uh, there'll be a link there as well. If and you it's wanna. at the Berkeley Church. Berkeley Church, March 11th. Uh, doors at 7, show at 8. Fred and Mel on the Edge.